Let's take a look at which fraction is larger, one third or one fourth. So right away, you could reason this out. If you had a pie and you divided your pie here, your one pie in three pieces, or you divided your one pie in four pieces, these would be smaller pieces. So one fourth is gonna be smaller than one third. And you can divide one by three on a calculator, get a decimal and compare that to one divided by four. You'd see that one fourth, that's smaller. The other way to do it is to find a common denominator, something that both three and four go into. Because if we have a common denominator, we just compare the numerators to figure out whether one third is larger or less than one fourth. Let's do that. How about three times four? If we say three times four, that gives us 12. Down here, we could say four times three, that gives us 12 as well. So now we have the same denominator, but we can't just multiply the denominator here by three. We also have to multiply the numerator by three. That's because three over three, it's one. So we're really just multiplying by one. We don't change the value, just the representation. One times three, that's three. Over here, multiply the numerator by four. One times four, that's four. Same denominator, we just compare the numerators. And you can see that four is greater than three. So four twelfths, that's greater than three twelfths. It's one twelfth greater. And since these here are equivalent and these are equivalent, they're the same, same value, one third, that is gonna be greater than one fourth. It's Dr. B, thanks for watching.